So let's just start off by saying that this video is not like the typical videos that I upload here on YouTube because as you can see from the title, um, I'm pregnant and I'm actually five weeks, two days pregnant officially today and I found out actually on Saturday and that's kind of a long story. I'll go into the symptoms and um, my comparison I guess with PMS symptoms versus pregnancy symptoms and I'll go into um, what it's been like the past few weeks and any like leading indicators towards that and so I guess the first time that I had these feelings like, oh, am I pregnant or is this PMS is when my period was a week late. So over that course of a week, I was reading a bunch of stuff on Google, seeing PMS versus pregnancy symptoms, and I highly doubted that I was pregnant because I guess for one, we weren't trying, um, but we also weren't trying not to at the same time. So I mean, yeah, it's realistic that it could have happened. And two, like other times I would miss my period due to stress. So I thought, oh, maybe I'm just more stressed lately. and I don't know, I would miss a period from stress and it would come like a week later so I didn't really think too much about it. But um, when it didn't come within a week and I had like this constant lower back ache, I know like I get like cramps and like lower back pain from PMS but this lasted a week and I also had some tenderness in my chest as well which didn't go away, usually PMS it lasts like a few days. So those are kind of like two indicators right there that maybe something else was happening. And also last week on Thursday, I remember I feeling so drained. It was so hard for me to get out of bed, like unbelievably hard. Like I had the flu, like I didn't want to move and get out of bed. But I forced myself to get out of bed, do some errands. And I actually called my mom that day and I told her, I was like, my period is a few days late and I'm so exhausted. And then she thought maybe I'm depressed, which I thought, oh, maybe I'm depressed. Maybe I'm feeling stressed or whatever. But a few days later, I found out that it wasn't that, and it was definitely the pregnancy. But I guess extreme fatigue is also one of the symptoms in your first trimester of pregnancy. So I guess that was another indicator for me that, oh, I may be pregnant. So anyways, fast forward to Saturday, which is three days ago. I woke up like about 7.25, which is pretty early for me on a weekend. And I just went to the store to get some pregnancy tests. So I just walked over to my local CVS, I got a pack of two, I thought it was like overkill, I mean I just need one test, but yeah, it was just a few dollars more to get two. So anyways, I drink a bunch of water because like the whole week, whole last week, I had been so dehydrated, but I didn't want to like over drink too much because I kept having to go to the bathroom and it was kind of like a hassle or I just didn't think about it that I needed to drink more water. Um, so yeah, I just drank a bunch of water, I finally went to the bathroom and peed on the stick and I saw the result. So, like I quickly read the instructions before using the test because honestly I never looked into the test before and like that was literally my first time picking up a pregnancy test box, opening it up, actually reading the instructions and everything and I didn't read reviews like oh which brand is better, which is more accurate, I just like grab whatever was like the best price and they're all pretty much the same. But anyways, um, so I'll just show you the stick. Basically there's two windows, there's a control window and there's also the results window. So the results window is like the bigger circle and that will show like if it's a faint line, oh you may be pregnant. If it's a really dark line, you definitely are pregnant. So first when I saw um, my result window, I thought that was the control window. I'm like, okay, it's really dark and like you can definitely see that there's a blue line there. So let me check the other window. But then I actually looked closer and that was the window that says, oh you are pregnant. And the other window is the control window. So long story short, I was like shocked when I saw this. And yeah, I just, yeah, I didn't know what to think. And like, yeah, I was in the bathroom. My boyfriend was, my fiance was um, in the next room over. And I go over to him and I tell him to like look at the test. And yeah, I forgot exactly how, what I said because I was so like in shock and really happy as well at the same time. And so he suggested that I take another one, which I thought is, you know, a good idea. Take another one. So. I did take another one within the next hour and that was the exact same result as well. Yeah. So we saw the doctor on Saturday and I actually went into the urgent care department to get tested because um, they didn't have any appointment availabilities open. Yeah, I went in, I peed in the little cup and they did the urine test for the HCG levels, which as you may know, the pregnancy test here, they test your HCG levels as well. But anyways, uh, on a side note, the HCG levels will be higher a week after you miss your period. So I had really good chances that the levels would be high when I took this. So that's why I'm assuming that the line was so dark and like it showed up within maybe like 15 to 20 seconds. It was really crazy. And yeah, 
I don't know if I'm gonna save this. My, my fiance thinks it's kind of gross, but I don't know. I think it's like a nice memento and like it brings me back to that moment when I first saw the results. But yeah, he just went over some like basics and congratulated us and like both of us were like, I guess in shock and not sure how to process all this information because I hadn't read like a bunch of stuff on like um, what to do if you find out that you're pregnant and like what to expect, how big the baby is, how far along, how many weeks am I? Like that was a big thing. I was like, I don't know how many weeks I am. I just know my period is one week late. But it turns out that you start counting the weeks that you are from the start of your last menstrual cycle. So mine is really easy to remember. It was on Christmas Day, so the 25th. So during that appointment, I was like four weeks, six days, I think. Yeah, four weeks, six days. So that seemed crazy too. It's like I'm almost five weeks. And yeah, I just found out today. I guess like during the last half of last week, um, it was like Chinese New Year. So we were doing like more celebrations, more dinners. We had hot pot. We went to like Chinese food for dinner and such. And I just noticed like everything was tasting stronger. Like we had those really nice dried oysters. And like I could barely eat it because it was so strong for me so I had to give it the rest of my fiance. And usually like I eat a ton of like Chinese food for me because it's good, it's a celebration and yeah but that's how I knew like something was off in me. And then so yeah of course like um, because tastes are stronger now I can also smell things a lot stronger. Usually in my life like I just go about I don't smell anything very strong. I mean of course if you're in Starbucks you smell the coffee and such but I didn't have like an overwhelming sense like whenever you, wherever you go, like you can smell nature and yeah, it's just like really weird. Um, one thing the doctor did recommend to me right off the bat is of course to take some prenatal vitamins, which actually a few months ago I had bought some like prenatal gummies at Target and partly the reason is like, oh, they were on sale, they're a little bit cheaper than like the regular one and also like, oh, I'm excited to like have a kid eventually one day, I mean, what does it hurt? So I would take it anyways because I know one of the very important ingredients to have when you're pregnant is to have folic acid, to have at least 400 mcg per day and a lot of the pills and um, medicine have about 800 in each serving. So I actually just got these. I think this is more of like a budget size versus gummies. You just need one of these per day and this one definitely has the folic acid is required bunch of other things. I mean, I think this is a pretty good basic one to start with. It wasn't that expensive. And I also supplemented that with DHA. So DHA is like a fish byproduct and basically like those omegas and whatever. The doctor said that it helps, it helps like babies in their development, perhaps makes them smarter. He said his wife used it and that kid is really smart. So he jokes about it like, oh, I wish my mom had taken more DHA before I was born. But so yeah, DHA I think is really important. It's only two soft gels. These are flavored, so of course you swallow it, but sometimes like fish pills can be kind of strong, but this has like a nice strawberry coating so it doesn't, you know, make you want to throw up. And also yesterday, so for morning sickness, morning sickness typically, from what I read, it starts around five to six weeks and can continue throughout the first trimester. So I don't know if like yesterday would be considered morning sickness, but I know like I woke up got out of bed, like my stomach was feeling kind of weird, like kind of an empty feeling. Um, I mean, I ate plenty the day before and such, but I eat like, as I would normally eat. But I, anyways, I had my vitamins and I walked my two dogs. And when I came back from the walk, I had like this knot in my stomach. And I had like with literally like five seconds to go to the bathroom because I felt like I was about to hurl. So I went to the bathroom and I think that was like my first bout of morning sickness. And I think, um, because as you sleep through the night, your stomach has nothing in it and it's kind of churning around, it's just kind of spinning acid. And I think along with the vitamins, which definitely you should take vitamins with food, which I totally forgot. But yeah, I think that can also contribute to morning sickness. So I try to have like a few crackers when I take my vitamins in the morning now and I don't get that anymore. But fingers crossed, I mean, it may start this week, next week, or who knows in the next few weeks. Another symptom I noticed, um, I know I mentioned before about being really thirsty, but like in the middle of the night I'll have to wake up about two times to just drink a ton of water and go to the bathroom again because like my mouth feels so parched. And another factor for that could be they say that your nasal cavity gets more congested so you sleep with your mouth open more. And I already have a tendency to sleep with my mouth open so I think that just like contributes to it and makes me even more ravenously thirsty. Um, but yeah, that's not really a big deal, but I think when I go out and stuff, 
But I think when I go out and stuff, um, I need to keep water with me or else I get this feeling like I'm gonna die if I don't drink water. My mouth is so dry, so. So for apps, there's like a ton of apps you can download to like track your pregnancy. I have two, I have What to Expect and I also have Baby Center. I like Baby Center because they, I was actually reading a lot of their articles on Google and I figured might as well just have it on my phone. It will help track how far along I am. And it's also cool because they show you what size your baby is. So right now at five weeks, it is the size of a sesame seed. So yeah, and then, and just last week at four weeks, it was the size of a poppy seed. Cause that's when I first found out I was pregnant at four weeks. I was like, wow, poppy seed size, like that is crazy. And look how much it changes within this week to that week based on the artist's depiction. So that is just crazy to imagine. I know they say you should get, of course, exercise, but honestly now I feel like nervous to exercise. Like I don't want to do hardcore cardio. I guess like the past few weeks I've been doing more cardio, not a ton, maybe like 30 minutes or so, but I've been like pushing myself and, um, but now I feel like I'll do cardio, but they say that, for example, sitting is considered a one, a full on sprint is considered 10. When you're pregnant, you should work out at a level of like four to five. So I think elliptical definitely would fall within that. But right now I feel like nervous to do it because I don't want anything to happen. And like, of course, I don't have any caffeine, no coffee, no tea. I have chocolate, which has a little bit of caffeine. They don't say that you can't have any caffeine. They say like, for example, one cup of coffee is fine. But of course, I don't want to do any coffee. And it's actually funny because last week, um, usually I drink coffee every day, but I stopped wanting coffee. I was like, oh, I don't think my body needs coffee. Let me just lay off and see how long I can go without having caffeine, which I had done before. But I was like, okay, I'll just do this again. It's probably good for me anyways. And then turns out it was for the better because I was pregnant at the time without knowing it. Yeah. So I guess that will wrap it up for today. Um, I'll definitely chime in later as I go to my appointments and learn new information and this is kind of a way for me to document it for myself and I hope this can be helpful to others as well. I know before I got pregnant and I was kind of, we were um, planning our wedding day and such and being really excited in that mode and I was being really excited about eventually having kids and wanting to have kids young. Um, I mean not young but like before I'm like late 30s for example which is Obviously, as you may know from reading, much harder to get pregnant, but yeah, so I've been watching a lot of other pregnancy vlogs, and yeah, I think this is crazy that I'm going to be going through this myself, so fingers crossed that everything goes well. I'll try to do the best I can to be really healthy and do the proper things to care for the future baby. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just end this video here. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.